Okay, one more minute, one minute. Those that are joining on Facebook, there may be some issues. So if there is, try and jump onto Instagram if you can. If not, and it's okay your end, then stay on Facebook. Okay, but we're just seeing there's a few issues there, so we're not sure if it's a signal. Okay, one minute. Nice and relaxed today. Today's about recovery. <clears throat> Resting up, okay? Building your immune system back up and reducing our risk of injury so we can train even harder next week. Last 30 seconds, just have a little check. Yeah, we're good to go. Good, 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 good. Okay, ready? Okay, welcome, we'll get started. Good morning Mel and the boys. Good morning Tristan, the United Select Scholars. Hopefully you're on here, this is something you definitely need for recovery. Okay, we brought along the good hairline today for a Friday again, for our yoga session. So today is all about recovery. Okay, reducing our risk of injury. These are the moments where we need to learn how to relax, control our breathing. Okay, so we're gonna do a very quick warm up just to get the heart rate up, get the blood flowing. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna go through our flow routine, okay, and work on some poses and some stretches through there. So just quickly, just wanna say a massive thank you. So, so far, last week we had over 1,700, not just view our videos, but actually click onto the workouts and watch them, okay? And so far this week, before today, we've had 3,000 virtually exactly, just a few short of 3,000, which means after today, there will be over 3,000. Without you sharing, okay making this little community okay that that wouldn't be possible so i'm massively appreciative like i said every time we, we do these sessions i'm so thankful and i'm loving doing them each morning with you so let's get started so let's start with a jog on the spot let's get going nice and relaxed good little jog on the spot and just from there i'm just going to punch out to the front punching out to the front nice and relaxed there good very gentle today That's it. A lot of people saying hello, Callum. I brought the Welsh wizard in, okay? Not only for his amazing looks he gets from his mum, but from his hairline. And from there, we're just gonna punch up. Hasn't got to go all the way up. We're just gonna punch up. Nice and relaxed. Good. Nice and easy. Good, and from there, stand still. All we're gonna do, lunge and a little twist. Just lunge with one leg. Good, try not to knock your water over like me. Good, lunge and twist over the front leg. Off we go, good. Step back there, good, each time. Step back off the front leg, Cal. Yeah, so step back off the front leg. Good, so there, step back, there, step back, good. Keep working, and now the opposite leg. Yeah, so step back off your right leg. So when you step, twist and come back. Good, that's it. Good, and back to jogging. Just get your knees up a little bit higher. Just pump your arms a little bit. Last 30 seconds. Good, good morning, Shiv. Jay and Eva. And relax there. Okay, first position. We're gonna go onto our mat in a nice press-up position. So in that position we go. Okay, as I'm explaining it to start with, just have a watch of the video. Once I give the explanation, then you can start. So from here, we're looking for a nice straight body. And we're gonna do the downward facing dog position. Very simple. The first movement must be the hips come up, the legs stay straight. Just put your feet together, Cal. Good, and we're gonna walk these feet in. And the way you, wait, 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 wait. The way you walk these feet in is by pushing your hips up, Excellent with the head, looking at your own belly button, and very small steps. Very small steps. Go as far as you can till you get a little discomfort. Hold there. Good. So ideally, these feet should be next to the hands, but Callum's struggling here, that's no problem. All is most. We've got to learn to relax them heels down. Good, and you will feel your calves. Let's go now, let's hold that. See if we can hold it for 30 seconds. 
Okay, yoga and stretching is about being comfortable, being uncomfortable. Okay, so we're learning to cope with this little bit of discomfort. Good, hold that there. The key, pushing them hips up. Good, and you'll feel your calves and your hamstrings, letting the heels relax. Good, that's what I want us to learn today, is learning to relax in that stretch. And just hold, nice solid base. Looking at our belly button. Good, and hold. Hold there for another 10. Remember, these knees will wanna bend. Your job is to just keep them nice and straight. Pushing that hip up, we're trying to lengthen from the glute all the way down to that heel. Good, keep that leg straight, Cal. Last five, four, three, and relax onto your knees. Okay, how's that feel? <laughs> okay, straight away when we do that stretch, it kicks in on them hamstrings and calves, okay? So if we can walk in even more, make sure them legs are nice and straight. So let's go back into our press up position. Okay, and now we're going to open up the hip flexor. So you're going to take your left leg and take it to the outside of your left hand. And just hold that there. You're not going to drop that back knee yet. Okay, we're just going to hold that there. Once that left foot gets there, try and shuffle it so it's right next to your hand there. Good. And now you can drop the back knee. Okay, from here, you're going to shuffle your back knee backwards. Good. There. And from here... You're just going to sit upright. So bring your arms up, both of them, and you can have your hands on your hips there. And we're literally, if you look at the screen, we're in this position. Now we're going to open up his hip. So the hip that you're working is where the back knee is. So push your front knee over your foot, the front knee, push it over here. Good. You feel that here? Yeah. And you'll start to feel it on our hip flexor, okay, of the leg which knee is down. And from there, our right arm or whichever arm of the leg you're stretching goes up and you're gonna push that hip to the floor. Good. Everything you do today needs to be controlled and slow. Okay, when you come out of the poses, don't just come out of them. Okay, good. Put your other hand on your hip, Callum. Good, here, look forward. I'm gonna hold that. Can we push this hip forward, that knee over the foot? And we're gonna hold. And to make it a little bit more difficult, reach up. Yeah, good, and hold that there. Perfect. So the hip we're working is the opposite one here, the one that's the furthest away. Bring the knee forward, good, and hold. Nice, just hold there for 20 seconds. Very relaxed today, very relaxed. Good, hold that there. Can we push it a little bit more? We're talking millimeters now. Yeah, really open up this hip area. And place your hands on the floor. Good, from here. The, the arm that's nearest the front knee is gonna come up through the air. So here, bring it up, like so. So we're twisting, okay? So we're facing the front knee. The chest is there and the arm is directly up. So it's not over here, it's not over here. It's directly up. And we're just holding that position. And we're looking at them fingers, Callum. Spread the fingers. Good. Nice and tall. Look up there. And we'll open up that. Nice. And just watch. <clears throat> Hold. Can you look at these hands? Don't get lazy. Really reach up and feel. Your hips getting stretched still, but now we're opening up the lower back and the obliques. Okay, really important area, specifically this day and age. Good morning, Lena, who's watching on Facebook. Hopefully Harvey's doing this. And gently relax that hand back down. From that position, you're gonna take your left leg back to the press up position, nice and slowly in your own time. If you need to go to your knees, do so. Let's go back into that press up position. And we would have opened up one of them hips. So again, we go to our downward facing dog. We push the hip up first. Good. Feet together, Cal. Walk your feet in as much as you can. Good. Look at your belly button. Good. Keep your hands where they are, Cal. That's it. And hold. Bring this foot further forward so it's level. Okay. From there. Once you get that little bit of pain down the back, 
Learn to relax your heels down. This will feel uncomfortable, but it will go away. And just hold, you've got to keep that leg straight. Learn to relax the heels, really important. If you want to get quicker, Good, and hold. Perfect, hold it there. Good morning, Lorna. An old Richens Park employee. Hold, good, can we lock our belly? And just by this one movement that you see now of pushing them hips up to the sky, woo, straight away, lengthens the hamstring. Remember, learning to be uncomfortable Okay, is how we're gonna get better. Let them heels drop, yes, good. We're nearly there, another 10 seconds, another 10. Very basic today, okay. And relax onto your knees there, good. You feel that? <laughs> okay, so it looks very simple and some of us may be able just to walk all the way our feet into our hands. Those that play a lot of sport, like this young guy, usually neglect the recovery part, okay? And he's volunteered to come in every Friday to do this, which is great, because he won't listen to me at the best of times. So, press up position. We're gonna do our opposite hip. So whichever leg you brought forward last time, you're gonna bring the opposite one through. Good, right to the outside of that hand. Fantastic, and we're just gonna hold that position to start with. Good, shuffle the foot so it's level with your hand, and then gently drop the back knee. From here, we come upright, we have our hands on our hips. No, come upright. Both hands, both hands. Yeah, good. Shuffle this knee back, shuffle it back. Good, there we go. Here, your left hand now goes up in the air. Left hand up in the air, that's lazy, up there. Now we push that other knee the opposite knee forward. Good, and hold that. And this is the area we're looking to open up. This hip flexor here. Okay, this hip flexor goes underneath your abdominals, okay, and attaches into there. So it's really important that we open up this area. If this area is tight, this is gonna continuously pull you forward, which is how you're gonna get lower back pain. So head forward, arms are up, and we're gonna force that knee forward, Callum. Good, hold that there, yes, and hold. Learn to breathe and live with that little bit of pain, good. The closer that hip is to the floor, the better we are. Good, don't be lazy with that arm, Callum. Good, this is what usually happens, gravity's gonna wanna take us here, but we need to make ourselves long. Yeah, arch our back ever so slightly, Good, and we'll feel that stretch. Head up, there, hold. Good, we need a little bit of discipline in holding that position. Good, place your hands back down. Good, this time, the front knee, this arm comes up, and we twist our way up, and we look up at our fingers. What I don't wanna see is this arm here again. Up, and look at your hand. Point them fingers, nice and long, look at the hand. Good, perfect. This hip's still getting a workout, but we're opening up and hold. Good. Perfect stuff, and hold for 30. Relax into that stretch. So it's important that we're using quality poses. Okay, don't rush it. Make sure we're doing it correctly. And relax out of there. Just have a little 30 second break. Okay, bring your leg out of there. Back into a normal presser position, yeah. Go onto your knees, get yourself a little drink. So just have a little drink there. There you go, you burnt it. Perfect. Good. Once we've had a little drink, we're gonna be up on our feet. Okay, up on our feet. Good, take your trainers off for me, Callum. Good, if you've got some trainers on, just take them off. Okay, we shouldn't need them. Okay, here's our next stretch. We're gonna open up our lower backs again, 
<clears throat> with a modified chair stretch. So, here, feet together. Okay, same as last week. We're in that, that position here with our feet together, and we're just going to sit halfway down. So your bum goes back. We're not knees forward. It's all the weights onto your heels. Fantastic. From here, hold your hands in a prayer position, like so, and you're going to take it to the left hand side of the left knee. So like so. You see how his hands are in the prayer position? His head stays here, okay? He's still holding this squat. We're in the prayer position, and with the left arm, you're just gonna raise it and look up. Good, and we're gonna hold that position. And we're opening up the sides. Sorry, it's tickled in. Good, reach up. And that right hand, the back of the right palm is pushing in against the outside of the left knee. Can you push your bum down more? Yeah. Good, and hold, and we're really opening up our side. Good, keep looking. Good stuff, good morning Ava, good morning Amber. Look up at this hand, good. Really opening yourself up here. Good, all the weight is in the heels, okay? Yeah, so our legs are working. But at the same time, we're giving ourselves a good stretch. And relax out of that stretch. Very good. Woo. We're going to face the other way. You feel your lower back there? <laughs> yeah. So you start feeling it in the lower back region. And again, with flexibility, okay, some may feel some exercises more than the other. So same again. Face the other way. Okay, feet together. Good. This time, prayer position onto the opposite side. Firstly, sit down into it. So heads are up. Remember, just go back up for me. Okay. Make sure it's your bum going back. So the tilt of the pelvis is going backwards and we're not leaning forwards. We want all that weight onto your heels. So heads are up. Good, good posture. Push your bum back. Down we go. Keep going. Keep going. In that prayer position, straight arms, opposite knee. So it needs to be where your hands are there. So both arms are straight, we hold that position, head stays forward for now, and then that right arm comes up. Ooh, so you're a little bit better on this side, that's good Callum. Good, the key is looking up at that hand and holding that posture. Perfect. He looks like a pro on this one. Jeez. Downward facing dog's not a professional, but good and whole. Learn to live with that. We should be able to hold these poses. Good stuff. <clears throat> Both arms are straight. Really lengthen yourself out. Last 10 seconds. Okay, it's been a pretty intense week for those that have done every session. Very intense yesterday. Today is about relaxation, okay? Recovery just as important. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, and relax there. Good, gently relax there, good. Next pose is gonna really stretch our hamstrings, okay? This is quite an uncomfortable pose, okay? But what I want us to do is, again, get comfortable being uncomfortable. So, the first part of this movement, will be your left leg is forward. Watch out the way, buddy. Your left leg is forward, your right leg is forward, but both of them are straight, so we're in this position, upright. Both legs have to stay straight, so there's no bend of any knee, okay? And both feet are facing forward. So we haven't got turned feet, okay? Both are forward. From here, from that position, make sure there's a good gap in between you, okay? All I want you to do, with your fingers on your hip bones here, I'll just go here just to make sure you can see. Your hip bones here is with straight legs is push that bum, that, that bum back. And we are not going to start the pose. I just want to make sure your pelvis is in the right position. Push your bum back and you'll start to feel that front leg. Okay, from there, the arms are above us and I want us all to get into this position now. So both feet are forward. We've pushed our bum back and our arms are up. Get in that position. Good, so make sure both feet are facing forward. 
both heels are flat, both knees are straight. Push your bum back, you feel your front leg? Mm -hmm. Good, arms above you, like so. And I want you looking directly forward. So the key is that both knees are straight and both feet are facing forward. From there, you're gonna keep both legs straight, keep pushing your bum back, and you're gonna take your arms forward by folding yourself in half. Woo! Just like so. You feel that here? Okay, we'll feel that on our front leg. If you can go lower, go lower, good. But both legs have to stay straight. Hold that there. And both feet have to face forward. So Callum has slightly turned his foot there. Good, if your back foot keeps turning, you can shuffle it forward slightly. Go forward with it. This goes forward. Yeah, good, now turn your foot, there you go. Good. Yeah, not an easy stretch, because it's painful. Hold that there, let's go. Good, push your bum back all the time. Legs stay straight. Good, you feel that? Mm -hmm. And hold. If we can go towards our foot, even better. But what we're aiming for is the area in front of our foot, here. Make yourself long, and at the same time, push your bum back. Hold that, don't move. Good, and you'll feel a massive stretch on the front leg. A massive stretch, keep both legs straight. Learn to live with that pain. Good, hold there. So you can see here, Calama's back foot has turned, and that's not what we're looking for. So from here, you can bring this forward. Yeah, good, turn it out, there we go, start again. Arms up, and reach down. Push your bum back, back, good, and hold. This is where, if we've got tight hamstrings, we're gonna expose them now. Reach forward, forward, not down, forward. There, and hold. I want everyone to get that pose right. We're gonna hold for 20, nice straight arms, pushing the bum back. We should really feel this on that front leg. Good, ensure we've got good posture, both legs straight. Last 10. The mind's gonna tell you to wanna get out of that pose, but we're gonna keep it going. <clears throat> and relax there. Good, you feel that? Yeah. That's what we're talking about, is when there's that discomfort, we've gotta just switch on and zone in, okay? And if you've attended a yoga class before, it becomes a bit of an ordeal, okay? When I used to do one-to-one -one yoga, believe it or not, okay, it become a real problem. So, opposite leg forward. The key again, <clears throat> okay, if your back foot is turning, just watch out the way for me, bud. If your back foot is turning, you must bring your feet closer together so there's a lesser gap in the middle. Okay, the key though has to be that both feet face forward, okay? If our foot's turning, all that's telling you is you're not flexible enough and something else is compensating, okay? We need to make sure that both these feet straight, uh, stay forward so we know it's our hamstrings doing the work. Just by me, pushing my pelvis back, I feel that. Okay, so it might mean that we can't go all the way down. Opposite leg, get yourself in position. Opposite side, yeah. Good, perfect. So both feet face forward, perfect stuff. Put your fingers on your hip bone, push it back. Good, the arms are up, so you can do that by being here, push it back. Good, both legs are straight, arms up in the air. Up, 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 up. Good, push this hip back. Good, and now reach for that ground in front of your foot. Not at your foot, reach for it. Reach, good. And you will get a little bit of shaking. But this heel's come up, Cal, so we need to make sure they both stay down. I want both heels down. So bring your feet closer together. Yeah. Good, and hold, that's an excellent position now. Constantly, every five and 10 seconds, push this hip back and we'll feel that stretch in the front leg. Really important if we're gonna reduce the risk of injury, okay? These are the areas 
that are so tight on people and affect their lower back. Everything travels up and down. Good, can we hold a stable base? Good, hold, push your bum back there, Cal, and reach forward. Good, we've got to learn to live with a little bit of pain. Good morning, Oliver. Good. Come on, Freddie, with Faye. <clears throat> I want this done perfectly. Good, to improve your speed, you must have a greater range of motion. And the only way we get there is by holding this stretch. We should be holding these for a minute or two. So remember, slow and controlled. Keep holding that there. We're gonna do another 20 seconds. Come on, Carl. Good, you need to get in the zone here, come on. Your feet are too wide. Good, reach for that ground in front of your foot. Both legs are straight. We're gonna go for another 10 seconds. And I want us to lift that bum high and back. Yes. Good, really feel that in them hamstrings. And relax there. Good, gently come out of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can see Callum is really struggling with his hamstring flexibility, okay? Callum is relatively quick, okay? But it's important that if he's gonna get quicker, he needs to maintain a better range of motion, okay? And the key was pushing our bum back on that stretch. So, next stretch, we're gonna go onto our front. So we're gonna lie onto our front. Okay, and we'll do the same as what we did last week. We're just gonna open up our quads, okay? So what we do here, we keep our knees together, okay? Bring your heels into your bum, grab both feet by the lacy part, okay, or the top part of the foot, keep your knees together, and from this position, we're just gonna raise your chest up, Good, keep your feet, knees together, Callum, knee, chest up. Good, and we're gonna look forward, up there. Good, and hold. And we're just gonna hold this for one minute. This is a relatively comfortable pose, but you must keep your head up. Good, Gemma, well done. <laughs> yes, you will be wobbling. Again, what this does is exposes our balance, okay, and tells us where we're strong and where we need to work. This session's so important. Good, so you can see how Callum's struggling to get his chest up. Again, this is like most people. He must get this up, so his abdominals are pretty tight. Really pull these in, so it's not too bad. Oh, you're quite, you're right there, bud. <laughs> Good. Hold that position. These kind of stretches are about discipline, okay? Some of us get caught up in the intensity of all the exercise, okay? Sometimes that's a little bit easier than staying still. <laughs> Another 20 seconds. Can you get your chest up a little bit more? Can we pull them feet in a little bit more? Good. The key today was really stretching up your hips and your hamstrings in particular. Can we get that chin up? Last 10 seconds. Good, it's great to be part of this session where I'm not actually sweating and breathing where I've lost my lungs. And relax there. I want you to roll over onto your back. Good, roll over onto your back on your mat. Okay, good stuff. The legs are straight out, your arms are straight out to the side of you, okay? And all we're gonna do here is spend one minute like we did at the end of last week. You're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna completely relax. Some of us might have screaming children and their dogs going crazy, okay, like last week. However, if we can, I just want you to completely learn how to relax your body. Okay, this is just as important as the intense workouts that we do Monday to Thursday. So allow your feet just to fall out like so. Learn to relax, let your palms relax, close your eyes. And for one minute, we're just gonna finish our week with pure relaxation. Off you go.
and gently begin to open your eyes, come back to normality, welcome to the real world. Okay, just sit yourselves up there. Okay, Friday sessions, okay, are all about recovery, okay, reducing our risk of injury. So from Monday to Thursday, okay, we can go a little bit more intense. Next week, the theme will be more tension-based, okay? So we're gonna teach you how to put real tension on your lower and upper limbs and your core, okay? There'll be a little bit more burning as opposed to a more lung-based and cardiovascular-based exercise. Like I said, I'm really thankful that you're tuning in. It looks like we'll get over 3,000 clicks, okay? So not just views or reached, okay? 3,000 people are actually watching our workout this week, which is virtually double what we did last week. You will improve if you tune in every day on our workouts, okay? It's not just a matter of just turning up, getting the body moving. I actually want you to progress, okay? So have a fantastic weekend. We will be here next week, probably Monday to Wednesday, okay? It's supposed to be the Easter holidays, but what else are we gonna do? We can't exactly go anywhere. So let's try Monday to Wednesday, see what the numbers are like, okay? Maybe have the weekend off, a long weekend. However, Monday, 9 a.m., have a great weekend. Thanks very much for tuning in. See you later.